So we're just going to make a quick video on how to register for GST. Um, the same applies for pay as you go withholding or other tax rolls and adding that registration to your existing ABN. Um, now that could be your business has been running for a period of time and you just now need to add it or it could be for new ones also. So to do so you just head to abr.gov.au this is the government ABR website on the right here update your ABN details. This will direct you to the MyGov ID login page. Um, we need to enter in your MyGov ID email address. Um, if you haven't got your MyGov ID set up um, in your MyGov account then you'll need to do that before you can use this service. Um, we can give you information on how to do that if you just contact our office. But for now, enter in your registered email address, click login, and you should be given a code. And you need to enter that into your phone. And you'll be forwarded across. So you'll get the Relationship Authorization Manager screen up which lists all the businesses that you're authorised to act for. So I'm a director of MCA Accountants, I can act for that one. I have a trust and my super fund there. For the moment I'm just going to work on my trust here. So here you can view your ABN record. So this includes, you can cancel your ABN here. You can update the the business record, so the main basis activity, you can change all of these, but mainly if you want to add GST, just head to the add a GST role, and enable pop-ups, okay we're going to get sent to online services for business. So as the ATO are redesigning their systems, some things don't work too well. The ABR is an old system and they haven't updated that yet. The online services for business is a new system. So it's a little bit disjointed, but that's okay. Okay, so in online services for business, head to profile, tax registrations, You can see here I've got no current roles. I can add and I can add GST, I can add PaySeo withholding. And you just need to go through the questionnaire. A required by law, which is do you meet the turnover threshold basically? The date you want to commence registration from, you know, answer what your turnover is. Do you want to lodge monthly, quarterly, or annually? To lodge annually, you need a turnover of, I think it's less than two mil, but don't quote me on that, please. Cash or accrual, do you import and continue on? I'm not going to continue on in this example because I don't need to register my trust for GST. Um, but that's basically how you do it. Once it's done, you'll get a confirmation on screen. It'll have your uh, reference number and the ATO will also send a letter out. Um, and that's all there is to it, registering for GST. Thank you.